everybody. Welcome to Music Moves for Piano Book 2, Unit 13. We're going to start with the Ducal Meter song. Bum, 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 sing with me. Ducal Meter moves in tune, moves in tune, moves in tune. Ducal Meter moves in tune, move in tune with me. And chant macro beats on do. Do, 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 micro beats. Do, day, do, day, do, day, do, day. Echo me, please. Do, ta, do, day, do, ta, ta, do. Do, day, do, do, ta, do, day. Do, ta, do, day, day, do. Do day, do day, do today, do. I'm going to sing a song called Piero. Do, so, so, la, so, fa, mi, re, ti, do. Would you please move like you're pulling taffy? Imagine how much energy that's going to take, how much resistance. The taffy is going to offer as you try to pull it. And if you don't know what that would feel like, think about the candy Laffy Taffy, if you've ever had that, and imagine it being warmer than it is when you just get it out of the package. So if you heat it up a little bit and try pulling it, think of how much energy that would take. Take it out. Take it out. So ti re re mi re do ti la fa so. I'm gonna sing Scotty. Would you please move your arms in small circles? Ba 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 and lastly, do mi sol sol la so fa mi re ti do. Would you move your arms and fingers in a light way while I sing "Twinkle Twinkle Little Star"? Bum 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 bum. For our tonal patterns today, I'm going to sing a set of three patterns, and then I want you to tell me whether it was in major tonality or in minor tonality. Hmm. All right, here's the first one. I'm going to do four of these sets of three. So here's our first set. Bum, 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 bum. That set is in major tonality. Let's do another set. Bum, 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 bum. That set was in minor tonality. Two more. Bum, 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 bum. Set was in minor tonality. And now the last one. Bum, 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 bum. And that last set was in major tonality. Let's do some moving in triple meter. I'm going to start with the triple meter song. Bum, bum, 
bum, sing with me. Triple, now feel as we're moving in three, moving in three, moving in three. Triple, now feel as we're moving in three, move now in triple with me. And chant macro beats on do. Do, 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 micro beats. Do, da, di, do, da, di, do, da, di, do, da, di. Echo me, please. Do, da, di, do, do, ta, da, di, ta, do. Do, da, di, do, do, ta, da, di, ta, do. Do, da, ta, di, do, da, di, do, da, ta, di, do. Do, da, ta, di, do, da, di, do, da, ta, di, do. Do ta 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 do da di do da di do. Do ta 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 do da di do da di do. Do ta di do do ta 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 do. Do ta di do do ta 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 do. I'm going to sing a song called Village Song two times. Do he so so da so funny re ti do. The first time, would you please move both arms in the space all around you? Ba 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 Second time, would you move your hands like you're patting the air? Ba 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 Our song to sing for this unit is called Dutch Folk Dance. Would you go ahead and do a strong dance while I sing this song for you on bum? Bum ba 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 bum ba ba bum ba ba bum bum ba 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 bum ba 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 bum. Echo these tonal patterns, please. These are all part of this song. Bum. Bum, 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 bum. Now we're going to sing those four patterns on solfege. Do, me. Do, mi, so, mi, so, mi, fa, re, fa, re, mi, do, mi, do. We're going to listen for those tonal patterns in the song. So we're going to listen for that first tonal pattern. Do, mi, bum, bum. Bum, ba, 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 ba. Bum, ba, ba, bum, ba, ba, bum. Bum, ba, 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 ba. Bum, ba, 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 Now I'll show you where it happened in the song. Remember, we're listening for do, me, bum, bum. Do, do, me, ba, 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 ba. Do, do, me, ba, 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 ba. So if you noticed, this happened twice, and both times we had a repeated note as part of our pattern. That means we didn't just sing do once, we sang twice. Do, do, me. That's how the pattern appeared in this song. And that's what we can do with tonal patterns. We can sing one of the notes a number of times. Okay, listen for that as we do some more patterns. So, me, bum, bum. Bum, ba, 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 ba. Bum, ba, ba, bum, ba, ba, bum. Bum, ba, 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 ba. Bum, ba, 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 ba. Now I'll 
I'll show you. So me bum 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 ba 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 so me me bum bum ba ba bum bum ba 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 so me me bum bum bum. So again, we had a repeated note or a repetition. So me me. Next one. So for this one, it may sound like I, you may have had trouble finding that pattern at all, or it may have sounded like it happened more than two times. It's because this pattern is part of a sequence. So we have two notes, bum, bum, and then we go bum, bum, and then we go bum, bum, and this is right in the middle of that. So I'll show you where that happens. We're listening for ba, da, da, bum, 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 bum. right after our so me pattern from before. So me me fa re re. For the second time, so me me fa re. Didn't have a repeated note there. It's getting us ready for the end of the song. All right, the last pattern we're listening for is me do. And you may say, oh, I already know where that is in the song. So go ahead and listen for it and see if you're right. Me do. And this pattern, I'll show you where it happens. So this pattern only happens once. It's the end of our first phrase or our first half of the song. And at the end of the song, we change the ending to make it more final. So at the end of the first phrase, we go, so me, me, fa, re, re, mi, do. At the end of the song, so me, me, fa, re, do. Just end on do. So listening to those two parts of the song, we're now going to listen for some rhythm patterns. This is in a really fast triple meter, like this fast. Do da dee do. So instead of trying to move to all of those do da dees, we're just going to move like this. And these are our micro beats. So this feels like you have something light that you're patting up in the air like a balloon. A balloon would move much, much more slowly than this. So maybe if you're really cool, that you could pretend that you're juggling. I can't do that. All right, so here are some rhythm patterns in the song. Bum ba 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 bum ba 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 So putting those on rhythm syllables, they sound like this. Do da di do, here we go. Do di do da di do do. Di do do di do do. Di do do do. So a couple of those were upbeat patterns. They started not with do which would be our beat here if we were doing do, da, di. They don't start with do at the bottom. They start with d up at the top. So if we're starting with something else, da or d, or something in between, we would call that an upbeat. So we're starting with an upbeat on a couple of these. All right, go ahead and sing this song with me. Do, so, mi, do, ti, do. I'm going to sing it two times. If you want to just listen the first time, you can get the whole song in your head. If you know it already, you can go ahead and sing along. Bum, 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 sing or listen. 
Notice as we're singing that. That little sequence that happens. So this time, go ahead and join me, please. Sing with me. Go ahead and sing that melody again. And this time I'm going to show you the chord changes just with our fingers and then we'll do it one more time and I will play those chord changes with us. So go ahead and sing again and help me move with your fingers. We're going to mark the tonic chords and the dominant chords. Bum, ba, bum, sing with me. Bum, ba, 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 ba. Oh, I was. I wasn't earlier. Amazing. Okay, so I'm going to play these tonic and dominant pitches while we sing the melody one more time and please help me mark or show our one and five chords with your hands. Bum, ba, bum, sing with me. rhythm patterns in triple meter. This is pretty similar to the tonal patterns that we did earlier in that your task is to try to figure out the meter and the functions of the patterns. So they'll all be in the same meter. The focus is on the functions. What types of things are you hearing? Are you hearing macro beats, micro beats, divisions, division elongations? Particularly if you hear divisions you don't have to name all the macro beats and micro beats, focus on the divisions. If you hear division elongations, that's our most important thing. So we're kind of going in order, macro, micro, divisions, division elongations. So whatever the highest one of those is that you hear, that's our, our primary thing we're listening for. Okay. Ba, 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 here I go. Ba, 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 ba. So this pattern is in a triple meter and it has divisions. Ba, 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 ba. Duta, da, dita. And also there are some macro beats and micro beats. Hey, that's enough. Duta, da, dita. All right, let's do two more patterns. Here we go. Ba, 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 ba. Ba, 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 ba. This one also is a division pattern. Ba, 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 ba. Do to da to D. And then it has some macro beats. We're in triple meter still. And I said before there were two more. Now there are two more. I was one off. Here we go. Ba, 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 ba. And this one is tricky. This one is a division elongation pattern because ba 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 do ta dita. It doesn't go do da ta dita like it would if it were just divisions. Do ta dita. I'm slowing it down there. So that is our division elongation. And then after that, it's got macro and micro. One more. Do, da, do, do, here we go. Ba, 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 ba. So this is one more division pattern in triple meter. So it goes ba, 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 ba. Ba, 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 which is do, da, da, di, do, da, da, di. That's divisions and a couple of micro beats on either side. 
and then ends with macro beats and micro beats. All right, if you are not already near the keyboard, go ahead and come to the keyboard, get yourself set up, check your distance, which probably means push your bench back. So check how far away you are. Make sure you've got that nice elbow room when you're at the piano. So we're gonna do a little bit of keyboard geography and technique before we look in your book. The first thing is we're going to play the tonic dominant tonic arpeggios when F is Do and D is La. So if you remember how to do these, you can go ahead and just play. If you don't remember, they're in your book on page 31. So tonic dominant tonic arpeggios, you can go ahead and play. We're using a separated touch. And then let's go ahead also and sing the roots of those chords. So F is Do, sounds like do, do, so, do. Let's sing that while I play again. Go ahead and join me if you're ready. Otherwise, as soon as I do this, you can pause and play it yourself. Do, do, so, do. Now we're going to do when D is La. to get over that black key and don't do what I just did. That is decidedly unmusical. <laughs> we won't do it that way next time. So for this one we're going to sing the roots. Instead of singing down to La, that's pretty low, we're going to sing up to La. So we're going to sing like this. Up to me. La, la. Sing that with me once before we play. La, la, mi, la. Now let's sing and play. Get yourself ready if you can. La, la, la. Now we're going to play springtime one and springtime two in F major and D minor. Make sure you're using both hands. So one hand is in the other hand, or if you really want to be adventuresome, you could try hands together. Remember when F is Do, T is a white key. T, Do, and remember when D is La, La, C, La, C is going to be a black key. This is just springtime two. So take time, practice both of those, make sure you write those down in your book. Pause this as you need to, to take time to write things down. All right, we're gonna look at the exploration, creativity, improvisation in your book. And this, this week is all about dynamics. So please turn in your book to page 35 and look up at the top of the book. So up at the top of the page, dynamics, it says refer to levels of soft or loud. In music, Italian words are used to indicate different levels of dynamics. Notice the wide range from very soft to very loud, wide range, wide range. So very soft is called pianissimo, soft is piano, medium soft, mezzo piano, medium loud, mezzo forte, loud or strong, forte, very loud, fortissimo. Getting louder is called crescendo, and getting softer is called diminuendo. And this, you don't have to, totally say it with an Italian accent when we say it. We can say diminuendo, crescendo, fortissimo, forte, that's okay. 
So, what we're going to do for our project is we're going to try playing some rhythm patterns at different dynamic levels. So this week, please practice all of these, get to know all of these if these are not familiar Italian words, or if you don't know that MF stands for mezzo forte, go ahead and learn those, practice those this week. Okay, so we're gonna move in triple meter. We're gonna do just a macro micro rhythm pattern, very softly. So this is pianissimo. We're gonna improvise with that pattern. Do da di do, here I go. Do 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 da di do. So go ahead, as I do each one of these, pause it after I do one of them, and then you try one. So you can use my rhythm pattern or come up with your own. For the next one, move in triple meter, chant a division pattern. Now this one is going to be medium loud, MF, which stands for mezzo forte. Improvise with the pattern, any keys, we're focusing on the dynamics. By the way, when you're playing softly, think of your whole arm mechanism from your shoulder all the way to your fingertips being very gentle, and you're dropping that very gentle sound with a little bit of fingertip energy all the way just a little past the bottom of each key. Otherwise, you might get this sort of thing where some of the notes make a sound and some of them don't. So make sure you feel like you're dropping past the bottom of each key. All right, so this is the second one. This is for medium loud, so everything's just a little bit heavier or you're releasing, letting go of a little more of that weight. And we're gonna move, do da di do, here we go. Do da da di do da di do da da di do. Just focusing on that energy that we're dropping and the rhythm pattern. We're not so focused on the notes for this one. And then for our third one, this is going to be a division elongation pattern, and we're going to play it loudly or forte. So improvise with this pattern. Now you're letting go of even more weight from your, from your upper arm, and you'll have even more energy in your fingertips to support that weight when you get there. Do da di do, here I go. Do ta 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 do da di do ta 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 do. of energy. So go ahead and try each of those. I hope you've done that. And then just for some other things to try this week for other improv, try different rhythm patterns using different dynamics. So as you're practicing these every week, don't just say mezzo piano is medium soft, pianissimo is very soft, fortissimo is very loud. Instead, improvise with them so that you say, I'm going to play pianissimo. Pianissimo means very soft. Come up with a rhythm pattern like we did and then play something. So don't just try to remember the words. Experience it. Experience what it feels like by improvising. So we're going to do a couple right now. And what we're going to do is we're going to do a rhythm pattern with a crescendo. So we're going to get louder as we play. So for a rhythm pattern, do da di do 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 and then we're going to play a rhythm pattern with a diminuendo get softer do da di do da di do to di do that. Make sure you're also doing crescendo and diminuendo as part of the things that you're trying. So do a lot of those. Any notes can be in triple meter, can be in duple meter. Just experience those dynamics as you're learning them. One other thing, I'm going to give you a rhythm pattern. I'd like you to play the rhythm pattern on one key 
improvise a gentle idea, knock the rhythm pattern on any keys, and then answer the idea using the same rhythm pattern. You can either do the same gentle character or it can be contrasting. So I'm going to give you an example of what all of this would look like and then I'd like for you to try it. Do da do do. Here's the pattern. Do de do da do da de do. One key. Do de do da do da de do. Gentle idea. And then. So my answer was with the same rhythm pattern, which is what we said. The character started out a little bit different and then kind of came back to be the same. So I'd like for you to do an improv project now using this rhythm pattern. Play it on one key. Improvise a gentle idea that you're knocking on the keys. Answer yourself with the same pattern. And you can either do the same character or a contrasting character. Do da de do, here you go. Do de do da, do da de do. One key. Do da do da de do. Gently knock. Do de do da, do da de do. And answer. I hope you enjoyed working with that. That was a fun rhythm pattern. All right, we're going to look at some review, starting with Russian Folk Song 1. This is on page 34 in your book. So if you already had it open to 35, this is the very next page over. So for Russian Folk Song 1, let's take a moment and just review the melody. Remember that we are in minor tonality. This is duple meter. La is E. And the melody is going to start on La. So, do, day, do, here I go. This song I think we did as a song to sing a while back, so it may be pretty familiar. So go ahead. Pause this as you need to, review the melody, and then when you're ready, we're going to try this in a new keyality. So we've done it with La is E. Make sure at the beginning you're getting that La, La, Do, Ti, Ti, Re. So you have a repeated note and then the skip. La, La, Do, Ti, Ti, Re, Do. And then after that, it's just stepping up and down. So now, let's try it with D as La, D as in dog. So what I'd probably do before we start is play La, Do, Mi, Mi, Si, La, Do, Do. Now we'll try this. So go ahead and try that in D minor, and then let's try it one more time in A minor. So A is La, and maybe I'll do it up here. Go ahead and play.
we've done that, go ahead and mark both of those down in your book with today's date to mark down the chialities that you used or new tonics. And now we're going to look at the accompaniment. So we're going back to our original tonic of E. Alright, so first for the accompaniment, we're looking at the tonic and dominant changes and we're playing La for our tonic chord and Mi for our dominant chord. And it sounds like this. hand and try also then this week we're going to try the written accompaniment the student duet part so take a moment this is going to use oh, oh. yeah I had to get my bearings and make sure I was looking at the right thing so start with your middle finger for this on la like this. This is beautiful. It's a melody by itself. Really lovely accompaniment. So here's what it sounds like. to the next note. It's all macro beats at the beginning. And then it's the same rhythm as the right hand. Let's go ahead and try this part together if you're ready. Do, day, do, ready, play. that together with the right hand. It's really, really beautiful. The other thing I'd love for you to try this week is try connected and separated style for the melody. So for a connected style, make sure as much as possible you're walking or rolling your hand from one note to the next note. Your arm is balanced behind each finger that you're playing. style let's do the gentle arm bounce for this for this song for the separated style other review we're going to finish unit two so this is all the way back all the way back on page four we had reviewed this last week, so this week make sure you're also reviewing on pages four, five, and six, the major tonality when Do is G, the G, so the major tonic arpeggio and the tonic dominant tonic melodic cadence. Make sure you're doing the G major scale. And when La is E, G major and E minor are relative keys. They share the same solfege on the same notes. Make sure you do the minor tonic arpeggio and the tonic dominant tonic melodic cadence. And then on page seven, we're looking at stepping stones. I'm gonna move this over here. So just as a review, here's what stepping stone sounds like. So for 
this one. Do they do? Here I go. The rhythm. Do they do? Do they do? They do. They do. They do. Do they do? Do they do? Do they do? They do. The other thing. So that's the rhythm for this song. And then at the beginning, for the first half of the piece. We go, do, re, so, do, re, so. And that's what happens, left hand going back and forth on the so's. And then the end, your hands kind of leapfrog across the keys. Left hand starting on, so, so, do, mi, mi, so, do, do, mi, so, do. So for this one, this time we're going to try two new chialities if you have not done this already. So we're going to try this in G major when G is Do. So to start it out, why don't we play springtime two. So for this at the beginning, we need to start with Do, Re, So. Make sure you find that, and then we can do the first half of the song. Leave this hand here because for the ending, so, 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 do, mi, mi, so. Do, do, mi, so, do. So if you can find that do, mi, so, then you can find the notes that you need. Now, we're going to play it also in C major, when C is Do. So go ahead and play Springtime 2. So we start by playing Do, Re, So, Do, Re, So. Can't quite phone in on that low G today. stop this, pause it as you need to, to practice that, and make sure you write down those two chialities if you have not already done some. If this is review for you and you have done that before, I hope you enjoyed reviewing this and a couple of new chialities. Also, we're going to review connected and separated style. So for this one, we're going to go back to our original tonic. way to do separated style. So you're going to leap with your fingers, leap off of the keys like you're bouncing on a trampoline. You don't have to leap very far, just like you don't have to spring all the way off the trampoline. You can just bounce up and down. If you need to play this more slowly, that's totally fine. our other way to do separated style. And then for connected style, this one's a little bit tricky with the repeated notes, so just keep your arms loose, rock back and forth when you can, and don't worry about the repeated notes. They're just going to be a kind of heavy, easy bounce. Like here. Nice and easy. It still sounds quite different from the separated style. So please go ahead and do that. Do separated and connected style for that song this week and also loudly and softly. Just like before when we were talking about our dynamics, remember that when you're playing loudly, let go of as much energy or weight from your upper arm as you can. Drop that all the way to your fingertips, which need to be very firm to support that weight. lightly, softly, go ahead and feel like all of that weight has gently been carried away. 
Your arms are very light, very loose, and you're dropping those very light arms a little below the bottom of the keyboard. With just a little bit of fingertip energy so that your hands don't fall in front of this. And then we're going to look, so that's all for unit two. If you have everything marked down in your book in unit two, go ahead and put a sticker on the cover or cross out number two on the front. And then we're going to do a little bit of review in unit three. So look at page nine. We're looking at our five C's on the keyboard. We have low C, bass C, middle C, treble C, and high C. So go ahead and find those five C's on your keyboard. And then try to mix it up a little bit. Say, I'm going to find treble C. I'm going to find bass C. Find high C, low C, middle C. So mix up the order a little bit. Become really comfortable with where those are. The other thing you can do, just like when we were talking about dynamics, in fact, you could even do this as part of your improv for dynamics, is you could say, I'm going to do something, and I'm going to play mezzo piano, so medium soft, and think about how that feels in my arm, how light that is, just a little bit of weight, and I'm going to play in the high C area of the piano. So, do, de, do, do, de, do. And you could do another one and you could do it in a low C area, a middle C, bass C, treble C, other way around. So try that this week. Incorporate that into your improv so that it's not just, okay, treble C is here, bass C is there, high C is here, low C is there. Use it as part of your improv. And then... We're going to look at the tonic, dominant tonic arpeggios when do is C and la is A. We reviewed those just earlier when do was F and la was D. So same thing for the for for both of these. Okay, no, I won't say that. For the major C major, I would say up to so. Do, do, so, do. Like this. Oh, I'm losing my voice. Do, do, so, do. Like that. And then for A minor, I would sing the whole thing an octave up. Don't try to sing. try that. I'm singing right here. This is the A above middle C. So you're trying to find where that is on the piano. So try that. Please sing the roots this week while you practice that. And then we're going to review Frère Le Jacques. Remember, this is the kind of different version where for the middle you just play do and me. This is a long time ago that we've done this. I'm going to play it so you can hear what it sounds like. So if you're having trouble following along in that middle part, please audiate the tune in your head. On the audio files that go with this book and then they will play the duet part with you which will make it easier to follow along as well. So in this one F sharp is Do so we are in F sharp major. The beginning do, re, mi, do. and then you have Do and Mi and those are the two that you play together. Do, do. Do. 
you go between your two hands for do so do. So go ahead and review that. Pause this if you need to. Play it. And then I'm going to play the duet with you while you play that. Do they do ready play? So you really only need a couple of things to find this. So we're going to play this when G is Do. So go ahead and play Springtime 1. So you need Do, Re, Mi. Starting with your pointer finger. And then you need to find Do, So, Do. And then below, so you need to find me. And then you have everything you need. And then let's go ahead and play it when C is Do. Spring time one. So same thing, we need to find Do, Re, Mi. And then we need Do, So, Do. I'm sorry, and your two index fingers or your pointer fingers. And then below, So, you need Mi. done those before, go ahead and mark those down. The solo, two new chialities, what we looked at today was G and C, and then also performed with duet. And last but not least, we're going to look at our song to play for this unit, unit 13, and this is called Butterfly. You don't have to turn there yet. Go ahead and just move to macro beats while I play this piece. Figure out if you think the micro beats are moving in two for duple or moving in three for triple. So this piece is in duple meter. Let's go ahead and move to duple meter and chant while I play the song again. Do day do here we go. Do day 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 do do day 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 do. So this is in. I'd like you to think about it for a moment. Is it in major tonality or in minor tonality? tonality and here's what it would sound like if it were in minor tonality Ooh. that is a very different sound so can you hear the resting tone in your head and sing it we're gonna act, we're gonna chant the two rhythm patterns from this song. The first one goes like this. Do day, do day, do day, do day. The second one is do day, do day, do day, do. And you and I are going to chant these rhythm patterns like a question and answer. So we're going to start. I'm going to chant the first rhythm pattern and I'd like for you to chant the second one and answer me. So here's I'm going to go ahead and chant softly with you so you know when to come in. Do, day, do, here I go. 
Do day, do day, do day, do day. Do day, do day, do day, do. Now we're going to switch. You're going to chant the first rhythm pattern. I'll go very softly with you so you know when to chant. And then I'm going to answer you. Do day, do, here we go. Do day, 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 do. That gives it this nice, huh. Like we, we asked something and we answered it. It's very pleasing. All right, so we're going to do a couple of tonal patterns, just two from this song. So here's the first one. Bum, bum. Bum, bum. Second one. Bum, bum. Bum, bum. Don't need to do the hand signs yet. Now we'll do those. Do, me, do, me, and the second one, do, so, do, so. So now we're going to figure out where those tonal patterns happen in the song. I'm going to sing the song and I'd like for you to see if you can figure out where you hear bum, bum, do, you to repeat. This one's a little bit hard to hear because it's at the end of one pattern and the beginning of the next pattern. So here's where it is. So right at the end of right before we do it again. Now we're going to listen for I'll show you where that pattern happens. So it's the same thing. Both of these tonal patterns happen at the end of one little pattern and the beginning of the next pattern. So it's our transition from one pattern to the next pattern. Go ahead and look in your book at page 36. Go ahead and turn there. You may have to turn a lot of pages because you were just very early in the book a moment ago. Take a look at the music information box. This is in duple meter. Do day, do day, do day, do day. It's in major tonality. Do mi so mi do ti do. Do is G. And the melody starts on me. Do. and play the G major tonic dominant tonic arpeggios just to get comfortable with G major here. And we'll sing. Go ahead, if you weren't ready to do that just now, pause this and play those and then come back. And then we're going to do springtime one in G major. If you're ready, you can play with me. Now we're going to play and sing those tonal patterns. Do, me, do, me. And then do, so. Get your hands and fingers ready. It's just one hand, five fingers. We need all five. Prepare all of those and then think the starting key. Remember the melody starts on me and you notice that me is written over your middle finger. That's where you're going to play that. Let's practice the finger movements for the first two macro beats of the song. It goes like this. So go ahead and practice that a little bit. And when you're ready, we're going to chant do day, do day while you play that. 
Ready, play. Do day, do day. Let's go ahead and do it again. Ready, play. Do day, do day. Now let's do that two times in a row. Do day, do. Ready, play. Do day, do day. Do day, do day. That's your first phrase of the song. The second phrase is a five finger pattern. It starts on so, so, walks all the way down to do, do, do. Go ahead and play that. Just feel what that feels like. And then we're going to chant the rhythm. Do, day, do, ready, play. Do, day, do, day, do. Now go ahead, if you weren't playing that last time, go ahead and play and chant at the same time. Ready, play, and chant. Do, day, do, day, do, day, do. Let's go ahead and play the whole piece. Do, day, do, ready, play. Do, day, 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 do. Go ahead now. We're going to play it up one octave. This is the second time. Do, day, do, ready, play. Do, day, 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 do. I'm going to go ahead and play the accompaniment with you as we play that both times in both octaves. Do, day, do, ready, play. play this hand, the accompaniment is just on do and so together. And this is the G that is below bass C. Let's go ahead and try that together. Go ahead and play just the accompaniment while I play both parts. Do, day, do, ready, to play now. And then if you want, you can go ahead and transpose butterfly to a favorite Tonic, a favorite keyality of yours. So we could do, we could do, let's do one. We'll do F major. We haven't done F major today. We play it in F major. I'll go ahead and play the accompaniment. for unit three. Remember that if you finished a unit today, you can put the sticker on the cover over that number two. Practice butterfly this week. Make sure that anything that we did today, you marked with today's date over on the lesson side. Practice that until we have our group class check-in and then I'll hear those. Please review all of those pages that you marked and check items whenever you practice them at home. Put a check mark, so if you have 10 or 15 check marks, that would be wonderful. Buy an individual item. Anything that's not listed over in the checklist, we're going to come back later and look at during your review time. Listen regularly to the recordings for this book and echo the patterns. Listen also to the pattern CD. Make sure you improvise and create every day. Always create your own music. You can do the improvisation activities in here and also you can do any improv that you would like. And if you write a song, please show that to me. I would love to hear that. Go ahead and chant rhythm patterns when you play 
and look at the lesson time objectives that's over on the left side of the first page of unit 13, page 35, 35, 34, 35. Look at that side for all of the things that you should be practicing this week. Thank you very much for joining me for Music Moves for Piano Book 2, Unit 13, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Thanks.